Hello, hello, hello. I'm Richard McKinney, Atlantic Shores Realty Expertise. And today we're going to talk about goal setting. That's right. It's that time of the year. Uh, every time this time of the year, I start seeing people talk about their, their goals and specifically their business goals. Although, you know, a lot of people start to talk about and set goals regarding losing weight and um, getting in shape and all that stuff. But today I want to talk about business planning and goal setting and, and really where, where, sh where your mindset should be regarding, regarding those things. And I'd like to start by saying, I'm not big into goal setting. I'm into business planning for sure. But I, I don't put a lot of time into goal setting. Uh, the, the reason being is because my goals change during the course of the year. And I want to be flexible enough to, to make those changes. Of course, changes for the better. And um, while I do have numbers, I want to hit those numbers, but those numbers could change. And the way I get there could change. So while I do uh, make, uh, put a lot of effort into business planning, such as marketing expenses and, and things like that, I really don't put a lot of time into goal setting. <clears throat> and I'd like to start by talking about something that I see a lot of people, especially in the real estate industry, doing this time of the year. When they're setting goals, they create something called a vision board. I'm sure you've heard of it, where they get out some magazines, uh, a poster board, Elmer's glue, some little scissors maybe crayons, and they spend a couple hours with their peers and they start putting together a vision board. Look, if a vision board is going to help you take your business to the next level, I'm all for it. But the fact is, a vision board without an action plan is useless. And I think that some people, and probably most people, create this vision board and, it, it, number one, it's in the garbage or it's lost, so they can't find it. But more importantly, they create it without a real path on how to get there. And, and that's the problem that I have with it. Uh, a vision without a path is, is really like an illusion, I guess. It's, it's an illusion. So today, <clears throat> I want to make it really simple. Um, when I'm talking, real, and I'm talking about the real estate sales industry, <clears throat> I set an income number and then I work my goal setting backwards. So if, if, if you, you know, you want to set up a, a plan to make a hundred, 200, 300, 500,000 a year or more, you need to break it down to how many customers you need to, to help in order to make that amount. And then you need to go beyond that and think, well, I need to help this many customers but in order to help this many customers, I need to have this many contacts. So that's going to be your marketing, you know, and, and your branding and your advertising and, and stuff like that. So you're going to have, you know, your contacts over here. And then the actually the people you, you sell and close over here. And, and you have to have all of this information. You have to create it all. And then once you create or have all that information, that, that determines your goals. 
then you need to determine the plan of action to get there. So if, if you need this many contacts to sell this many customers and to make this much money, what's it going to cost to get you these contacts? You need to give, develop a plan to get there. And there's a lot of different ways to do it. And so that, that's what that's what I'm you know really want to focus on today. If, if you're going to create an, a, a vision board, create an action board at the same time. Create an action board. And then at the end of the year, I would come back and create a results board. Okay? And a results board is, is just showing yourself how you did, your numbers. Showing yourself all those customers that you were able to help and how much money you were able to make minus <clears throat> all of your expenses. Excuse me. <clears throat> so that's what today was about is just a piece of advice to you. Uh, create a vision board if you want. More importantly, set goals, create an action board, and then a business plan to help you achieve optimal success. It's Richard McKinney, Atlantic Shores Realty Expertise. If I can help you at any time, pick up the phone, call, text. I'd be happy to set a time aside to talk to you. 772-370-8631. And as always, make it a great day.